Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. Today is a beautiful Saturday. We're starting into the weekend services. I'm looking forward to teaching you back out of the book of Acts, chapter 16, about the python spirit, a demon spirit literally called Numa Pythana. Now, this is a very particular type of demon spirit that attaches and suffocates, and we'll have a great time studying that and how Paul, again, won the victory in Christ Jesus. But today, let me take you back to the book of 1 Kings, chapter 17. I'm going to read you a rather lengthy passage of Scripture here, and then I want to make a point. Now, Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years except by my word. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Leave here, and turn eastward and hide in Kedath Ravine, east of the Jordan. You will drink from the book, and I have ordered the ravens to feed you there. Notice, I have ordered the ravens to feed you there. So he did what the Lord told him, and he went down to Kenneth Ravine, east of the Jordan, and stayed there. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. Sometime later, the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Go at once to Zarephath of Sidon, and stay there. I have commanded a widow in that place to supply you with food. So he went down to Zarephath. When he came to the town gate, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called to her and asked, Would you bring me a little water in a jar so that I may have a drink? As she was going to get it, he called, And please, bring me a piece of bread. As surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied, I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug. And I'm gathering a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself and my son that we may eat it and die. Elisha said to her, Don't be afraid. Go home and do as you have said. But first make a small cake of bread for me from what you have and bring it to me. And then make some for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. The jug of flour will not be used up and the jug of oil will not run dry until the day the Lord gives rain on the land. Now, there's several things I want you to notice here. First of all, if a man of God did something like this today, I'm sorry he would be crucified in the newspapers for it. But I want you to notice just a few truths of this. First of all, I want you to know that God ordered a raven first to care for him, and then God commanded. He said, I have commanded, not I will command, I have commanded a widow. The first thing you need to understand about this incredible source of provision for the widow is that God had already told her what to do. This didn't originate with Elijah. This originated with God speaking to her. God had commanded her. If somebody walks up to you and says, as a prophet of God, I'm telling you this, and God has never spoken to you, then I would not pay a great deal of attention to it. But I want you to notice that because God wanted to provide for this woman, he brought her an opportunity to give. Let me say that again, because God wanted to provide for this woman through an entire season of famine, he brought her an opportunity to give and to give continually so that she ate every day until the famine was broken. Sometimes I call this a daily seed, a, a daily gift, a daily thing that we offer to God. I've talked to many people in life that were very, very poor. We've had many people through our church all through the years that started very, very poor, selling a few vegetables on the street. And I told them that every day you need to sow a seed. Every day, you need to find an opportunity to give. Find, find an opportunity to give every day and watch God provide for you every day. Now, brothers and sisters, I know that there's been a lot of people using the doctrines of giving and receiving to exploit and get money from people. But I want you to notice, like here with God, God wasn't trying to get anything from the woman. God was trying to provide for the woman. God's not trying to get money from you. God has plenty. Please, if he wants more, he can create another diamond planet. What God is trying to do is give you an opportunity to give, give you an opportunity to sow, so that he can bring a harvest into your life. If you're in financial need today, quit looking for people to give to you and start looking for an opportunity to give, however small it may be. Remember, it's just a seed. Look for an opportunity to give every day and watch God provide. 